Hey guys, Ibra here and welcome to Ibra Sketch. Before we go anywhere, please hit the subscribe button and the like button so that you can continue to watch this video. Okay, let's continue. So, we have a croaker today. We caught it on a boat with a trip with Captain Sam. And of course, I'm going to show you how I catch this. And in the meantime, I'm going to knock the scales off of this and clean the guts out and get it prepared so you can get right into the grease. So, enjoy this clip. I'm <laughs> fight like if it was a shark, eh? Oh, is it? Oh, is it? Get it. Okay. Rush? Rush. 
So we're back. Our fish is all clean. The guts is out. The scales are off. And I'm going to cut it up into pieces. And I'm going to take one of the pieces and we're going to prepare it for lunch. So let's head to the table. So we're going to cut it into steaks. And I'm just going to take one of the steaks and use it for our video today. Ah, I need a bigger knife. Ah, that's more like it. Dang. Good. I have to try to find the joints to make it easier to cut. Head and keep, but I need to cut it in half. And in the head, they have this, like it's like a, a, a rock, a stone, that's that always in their head. There's two of them, but the other one is still in there. But it's really crazy. And it's like hard. It's really hard. But, yeah, so we're going to be doing this different. The steak that I'm choosing, the piece that I'm choosing, uh, I guess I'm just going to choose this piece and I'm going to, I have a bag of flour prepared, it's, it's actually a mixed bag of flour, cornmeal, black pepper, cayenne pepper, salt, all purpose, Maggi seasoning and a little bit of curry powder. So I have all of that in this bag so i'm just gonna put it in the bag i'm just gonna put the, the slice in the bag but wait before i put it in i want to dry i want to dry this fish off make sure it, it dries so that the the bread in can stick to it properly so i'm just gonna get a napkin and take the steak and dry it off be sure to dry it off like really good all the moisture off of it so that it can properly stick so that it won't just go onto the water surface and and run right off so that looks pretty dry but for the rest of the the, the fish I'm gonna season it as normal and put it away for another day but our steak is dry. Put it in our bag. Of course, close it. And mix it up. So, 
as you mix this up i'm going to put a frying pan with oil on the burner to heat up and then we're going to head over there and drop them in so our pan is pretty hot now i'm not going to leave the the burner high because i want it to be like medium heat so that it doesn't cook so fast I, I put one more one more steak in in the bread and it's uh, cause I'm a bit more hungry than I than I thought. So just gonna shake it up and put it in there. Shake it up. In there. And I'm not, I'm going to try not to move it as much, move it around. Just to keep it right there, let it get um, cooked on that side. And then when, when it's ready, I'm just going to take it out and just flip it over. And leave it there, let it cook right through. Alright, so it looks like it's good to flip. So let's have a little flip. Ooh, it's good. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Trying not to move it around too much. So our fish is ready to come out. Take the burner off and I'm put them on a paper towel and let it sit for a little bit. Let all the excess oil come out and that will finish cooking right there. So let it cool down. And then we're gonna have a bite. Ooh. It looks really good. So, but now time to test it. We're gonna try one piece. This. It looks really good. Like. Ooh. This fish tastes so good, like croaker or croaker or candle, whatever name you call it. Such a, a meaty, nice, flaky. Like my mouth is so watering and this is the first time I did it this way, where I didn't really season the fish itself. I just seasoned like the bread and the flour and the cornmeal and everything and just put it in that and then fry it pretty slow came out really good like I have no complaints like no fishiness you know people put lemon and or vinegar to stick away that fishiness I no fishiness like I didn't even need to use any of that so good oh. but if you like the video hit the thumbs up button subscribe so you don't miss out any other videos and you can hit the bell so you can get a not notification every time I post a new video which I do every week every Sunday I and mean, it's called Hopes on Sunday if you didn't know but I'll see you guys next week with another video hopefully something good to show for it I'll see you guys in the next video <laughs>